Hello friends, I am Fahad Iqbal and I welcome you to my channel Competitive Physics. In this video, we will know what is the Large Hadron Collider and how it works. The Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It is a marvel of modern particle physics that has enabled researchers to plumb the depths of reality. The LHC was constructed by the European Organization for Nuclear Research CERN in the same 27 km tunnel that housed its large electron positron collider LEP. The tunnel is circular and is located 50 to 175 meters below ground on the border between France and Switzerland. The origin of LHC stretched all the way back to 1977 when Sir John Adams, the former director of CERN, suggested building an underground tunnel that could accommodate a particle accelerator capable of reaching extraordinarily high energies. The project was officially approved 20 years later in 1997. The LHC cost a total of $8 billion to build, $531 million of which came from the United States. More than 8,000 scientists from 60 different countries collaborate on its experiments. The LHC is capable of accelerating particles up to 99.99% the speed of light and smashing them together. Our current understanding of the universe is incomplete. The standard model of particles and forces summarizes our present knowledge of particle physics. The standard model has been tested by many experiments and it has proven particularly successful in anticipating the existence of previously undiscovered particles. However, it leaves many unsolved questions which the LHC helps to answer. The accelerator complex at CERN is a succession of machines with increasingly higher energies. Each machine injects the beam into the next one, which takes over to bring the beam to an even higher energy and so on. In the LHC, the last element of this chain, each particle beam is accelerated up to the record energy of 6.5 tera electron volt. The LHC is not a perfect circle. It is made of 8 arcs and 8 insertions. The arcs contain the dipole bending magnets with 154 in each arc. An insertion consists of a long straight section plus two transition regions, the so-called dispersion suppressors. A sector is defined as the part of the machine between two insertion points. An octant starts from the middle of an arc and ends in the middle of the following arc and thus spans a full insertion. In an accelerator, particles circulate in a vacuum tube and are manipulated using electromagnetic devices. Dipole magnets keep the particles in their nearly circular orbits, quadrupole magnets Focus the beam and accelerating cavities are electromagnetic resonators that accelerate particles and then keep them at a constant energy by compensating for energy losses. The LHC has the particularity of having not one but three vacuum systems. First, insulation vacuum for cryomagnets, second, insulation vacuum for the helium distribution line and third, the beam vacuum. There is a large variety of magnets in the LHC, including dipoles, quadrupoles, sextupoles, octupoles, decapoles, etc., giving a total of about 9600 magnets. The biggest magnets are the 1232 dipoles. The main role of the LHC cavities is to keep the 2808 proton bunches tightly bunched to ensure high luminosity at the collision points and hence maximize the number of collisions. The dipoles of the LHC represented the most important technological challenge for the LHC design. In a proton accelerator like the LHC, the maximum energy that can be achieved is directly proportional to the strength of the dipole field, given a specific acceleration circumference. At the LHC, the dipole magnets are superconducting electromagnets and designed to provide the very high field of 8.3 Tesla over their length. The LHC dipoles use niobium titanium cables, which become superconducting below a temperature of 10 Kelvin. In fact, the LHC will operate at 1.9 Kelvin, which is even lower than the temperature of outer space. A current of 11,850 Ampere flows in the dipoles to create the high magnetic field of 8.3 Tesla required to bend the 7 tera electron volt beams around the 27 km ring of the LHC. The LHC is the largest cryogenic system in the world and one of the coldest places on Earth. Such a cold temperature is required to operate the magnets that keep the protons on course. To maintain its 27 km ring at superfluid helium temperature, the LHC's cryogenic system has to supply an unprecedented total refrigeration capacity, some 
150 kilowatt for refrigerators at 4.5 kelvin and 20 kilowatt for those at 1.9 kelvin the layout for the refrigeration system is based on five cryogenic islands each island must distribute the coolant and carry kilowatts of refrigeration power over a long distance the whole cooling process takes a few weeks the protons of the lhc circulate around the ring in well defined bunches the bunch structure of a modern accelerator is a direct consequence of the radio frequency acceleration scheme. Protons can only be accelerated when the RF field has the correct orientation when particles pass through an accelerating cavity, which happens at well specified moments during an RF cycle. In the LHC, under nominal operating conditions, each proton beam has 2808 bunches, with each bunch containing about 10 raised to the power 11 protons. The particles are so tiny that the chance of any two colliding is very small. When the bunches cross, there are up to 40 collisions between 200 billion particles. Bunches cross on average about 30 million times per second. So the LHC generates about 1 billion particle collisions per second. A beam might circulate for more than 10 hours, traveling more than 10 billion kilometers, enough to get to the planet Neptune and back again. At near light speed, a proton in the LHC makes 11,245 circuits every second. For each collision, the physicist's goal is to count, track and characterize all the different particles that were produced in order to reconstruct the process in full. Just the track of the particle gives much useful information, especially if the detector is placed inside a magnetic field. There are seven experiments installed at the LHC. A large ion collider experiment allies a toroidal LHC apparatus Atlas, the compact muon solenoid CMS, the Large Hadron Collider Beauty Experiment LHCB, the Large Hadron Collider Forward Experiment LHCF, the Total Elastic and Diffractive Cross-Section Measurement Experiment TOTEM, and Monopole and Exotics Detector at the LHC Moidal. Allies, Atlas, CMS and LHCB are big experiments installed in four huge underground caverns built around the four collision points of the LHC beams. Totem is installed close to the CMS interaction point, LHCF is installed near Atlas and Moidal is close to the LHCB detector. ELICE is a detector specialized in measuring and analyzing lead ion collisions. It studies the properties of quark gluon plasma, a state of matter where quarks and gluons under conditions of very high temperatures and densities are no longer confined inside hadrons. Such a state of matter probably existed just after the Big Bang, before particles such as protons and neutrons were formed. ATLAS is a general purpose detector designed to cover the widest possible range of physics at the LHC, from precision measurements of the Higgs bosons to searches for new physics beyond the standard model. The main feature of the ATLAS detector is its enormous Doffner shaped magnet system. This consists of 825 meter long superconducting magnet coils arranged to form a cylinder around the beam pipe through the center of the detector. Atlas is the largest volume collider detector ever constructed. CMS is a general purpose detector with similar physics goals as Atlas, but different technical solutions and design. It is built around a huge superconducting solenoid. This takes the form of a cylindrical coil of superconducting cable that generates a magnetic field of 4 Tesla. Large Hadron Collider Beauty Experiment specializes in the study of the slight asymmetry between matter and antimatter present in interactions of B particles. Understanding it should prove invaluable in answering the question why is our universe made of the matter we observe. Large Hadron Collider Forward Detector is a small experiment that measures particles produced very close to the direction of the beams in the proton-proton and proton nucleus collisions at the LHC. The motivation is to test models used to estimate the primary energy of the ultra-high energy cosmic rays. It has detectors located 140 meters from the Atlas collision point. TOTEM measures the effective size or cross-section of the proton at LHC. To do this, TOTEM must be able to detect particles produced very close to the LHC beams. It requires detectors housed in specially designed vacuum chambers called Roman pots, which are connected to the beam pipes in the LHC. 26 Roman pots are placed in pairs at four locations near the collision point of the CMS experiment. Moidal is a small experiment searching for hypothetical highly ionizing particles such as magnetic monopoles. The detector consists of an array of 400 nuclear track detectors, each 
consisting of a stack of 10 sheets of plastic scintillator with a total area of 250 square meter and arranged around the collision point near the center of the LHCB detector. Found at last, the Higgs has turned up at the LHC. It was a long time coming. The existence of the Higgs boson was predicted in 1964, but the world had to wait until 2012 before it was discovered by physicists working on the ATLAS and CMS collaborations on the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. CERN plans to run the LHC up to the year 2035. Future will reveal what major discovery is hidden in the 27 km long tunnel. Please like and share my videos and if you have not subscribed my channel yet then please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get the notification of new videos. Thank you for watching Competitive Physics.